If you want to edit the URLs of the images in your WordPress media library, you won't be able to do so, because unfortunately WordPress doesn't allow you to edit the URLs of any media files. But don't worry, because renaming all your image URLs based on the post title is just one of the hundreds of changes you can make with the Media Library Spreadsheet plugin. This plugin displays all your media library files in a spreadsheet, where you can do advanced searches and apply bulk changes to your files in seconds. You'll find the link to download the plugin in the description of this video, as well as the link to consult our written guide. Optionally, you can filter all attached images using the search tool. Once the tool is open, enable the advanced filters. Then select Format. The operator will be Contains. We'll enter image as the value. Now create another advanced filter. Enter the attached to this post field. Select the is not equal to operator. And leave this field empty. Finally, run the search to display all the attached images. Once all the images have been filtered, let's rename their URLs based on their post title. For this, open the bulk editing tool. Once the tool is open, select this option to edit the result from our search. Then, look for the field file name here. Select the copy from other columns option. And choose the attached to this post column. Finally, execute. Now the previous file names have been replaced with the title of the post to which the images are attached to, and our plugin will automatically change the image URL and update all posts that use the image. Now you no longer have to worry about spending many hours trying to edit your media library files, because thanks to the Media Library Spreadsheet plugin, this only takes a few minutes of your time and will improve your SEO greatly. Remember that you will find the link to download this plugin in the video description, as well as the link to review our written guide. We have live chat support on our website in case you need extra help. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video tutorials.